Director General, Regional Representative for Africa of PAO. Thank you, Mr. Beba. Welcome, sir. And I also would like to welcome uh, uh, Mr. Koryam Palembe, the President of PAFO, Pan African Farmers Organization. Bienvenue, Monsieur le Président. So, um, once again, good afternoon to you all. And uh, now, almost time. And uh, as we have two principles, although we will expect a few more people to join us, I would like to uh, first start uh, some housekeeping announcement, if I may allow it. So uh, we'd like to have your kind cooperation. Kindly keep your microphones in mute while you are not speaking. And uh, you may wish to change your names and indicate your organization. You can click on right top your icon and then you can find rename, should you wish. And also please be informed that there's a simultaneous interpretations between French and English. You can click a Grove icon interpretation at the bottom and choose the language you may wish to hear. So I'd like to start. Um, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kaz Fujiwara. I'm a partner officer. Uh, for our regional office for Africa, and I will be your moderator. And I would like to extend a warm welcome to you all uh, to this virtual signing ceremony of the Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, between Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations and Pan-African Farmers Organization, PAFO. Once again, I would like to recognize our two principals, Mr. Avebe Hayer Gavriel, Assistant Director General, Regional Representative for Africa of FAO, FAO, and Mr. Koryam Palembe, the President of Pan-African Farmers Organization, PAFO. Welcome, sirs. So I hope uh, you have a agenda in front of you. It will be uh, hopefully sort of concise, short and sweet. Um, we will have first round of introduction uh, before we invite the opening remarks by two principals. And it will be followed by a very short, uh, brief presentation about this joint collaboration. And then uh, we will go the actual signing of MOU, a bit of photo session and round of applause by the audience. And we will have closing. So uh, with this, um, we'd like to kickstart uh, the introduction, but for the sake of time uh, from uh, our side, uh, I would like to introduce our site and then uh, pass on to Emirates for PAFO site. So from FAO side again, FAO is headed by Mr. Ha Abebe Hayer Gabriel, Assistant Director General Regional Representative for Africa, FAO. And I have colleagues. Uh, we have Ms. Momoka Tamura, Partnerships and Other Advocacy Officer. And we also have Mr. Samuel Krepi, Communication Assistant and myself, uh, Kaz Fujiwara, all of us from our regional office for Africa. Now, uh, Emirates, I'd like to hand it over to Emirates Tushime, the uh, program officer and acting CEO of PAFO for their side. Emirates, over to you. Thank you, Kaz. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Once again, bonjour, bon après-midi à tous. So on PAFO side, we are having the president of PAFO, we have already recognized him, Mr. Koryang Parebere. So I myself, I'm a Merasa Tuishim, the programs officer, but uh, I'm also acting as the CEO. So here we have uh, members of Secretariat who are, who are joining us today. So we have uh, uh, Shadrach and Zubair. They are both uh, the assistant at, at PAFO. We have uh, the finance officer, uh, Mrs. Uh, Solange Uera. We also have the communication officer, Mrs. Insaf Budri. So apart from that, we also have uh, members uh, of PAFO who are present today. So I would like to hand over to Ms. Mrs. Elizabeth Nsimadara, who was also the former president of PAFO, but I want to keep her to present herself. And also there is uh, another colleague we are expecting from uh, Sakao one of uh, Papua Regional Farmers Organization in Southern part. 
So it is uh, Mr. Benito, he will be joining us afterwards. So Mrs. Elizabeth, please go ahead and present yourself. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Emelans. Uh, good morning, good afternoon uh, to everyone. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Nsimadara. I'm the president of the Eastern Africa Farmers Federation. I'm the director in charge of women affairs, but also the immediate past president at the Pan Africa Farmers Organization. And I'm happy to be part of this. Uh, uh, process. started some time back and which today is uh, is resulting into uh, fruits. Happy to see everyone and especially my So thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Elizabeth. So Kazu, with your permission, Benito, has he just already connected you? We can hand over to him to also present himself. Benito, please present yourself. You have just joined when we are having a round of presentation. Okay, thank you. My name is Benito and the, I'm representing the Southern African Confederation of Agriculture Unions. Uh, my CEO is not available, so I'm attending on his behalf. Thank you. Thank you. So Kaz, you can go ahead. Thank you very much uh, all for your self-introduction. So now um, we'd like to proceed and uh, I'm pleased to invite our Assistant Director General Regional Representative for Africa of FAO, Mr. Abebe Hail Gabriel, for his opening remarks. Mr. Abebe, over to you, sir. Thank you so much, Kaz. Um, Mr. Koliang Palebele, President of uh, PAFO, uh, Ms. Elizabeth Simadala, President of Eastern African Farmers Federation, um, distinguished participants, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to extend warm greetings to you all uh, from the FAO uh, Africa Regional Office. Uh, which, as you know, is based in Accra, Ghana. Um, my best wishes to you all for 2022. We, we, we're just starting the year. Uh, without us noticing it, one month is gone. But still, I'm sure it's not too late to wish you all a very happy new year. Let me congratulate uh, Mr. Loliang Palebele for his successful election as president of PAFO uh, and wish him success as he takes up this uh, important responsibility. I also want uh, to pledge uh, FAO's availability to uh, work with him uh, to make his, his tenure successful. I would like to express my appreciation uh, to my sister, Miss Elizabeth Nsimadala, the president of Eastern Africa Fed Farmers Federation, uh, for former president of PAFO, for her excellent leadership during her tenure. We have enjoyed an excellent partnership with PAFO uh, while she was president and now she has come to harvest uh, her, her uh, you know, fruits, the, the plants that she has been seeding over the years. Uh, today is a very good example. I would also like to welcome uh, Mr. Benito Elasi representing Sakao. On behalf of Dr. Chu Dongyu, the Director General of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, I welcome you all to attend this important event the signing of MOU between FAO and PAFO. We at FAO are very much pleased that we are able to formalize our partnership and collaboration with PAFO through signing of this MOU. 
FAO has had an excellent working relationship with PAFO since its inception. Personally, I recall, uh, in fact, uh, I had the privilege to witness its establishment back in 2010, uh, 2010 in Lilongwe in Malawi. At that time, uh, I was with the African Union, also the focal point to work with the network of uh, the farmers uh, organizations as they establish their uh, continental uh, forum. It's a pleasure for me to see it grow uh, from strength to strength. Today's signing of the MOU is a demonstration of our mutual commitment to renew our existing excellent collaboration in advancing the agenda of agri-food systems transformation in Africa. FAO recognizes the crucial role of inclusive and efficient cooperatives and producers organizations, such as PAFO, in achieving agri-food system transformation and the sustainable development goals. And this is ever more relevant today in our region. As you know, the Africa region has its unique features, both in terms of the challenges that we are faced with, as well as the solutions. It's also significant that the MOU is being signed at a time when FAO has launched the implementation of its new strategic framework that will guide our work for the next 10 years from 2022 to 2031. FAO pledges through the strategic framework is supporting the agenda 2030 through the transformation to more efficient, inclusive, resilient, and sustainable agri-food systems for better production, better nutrition, a better environment, and a better life leaving no one behind. This affects actions at country, sub-regional and regional level are at the core of the transformative nature of the Agenda 2030 through the achievement of the four betters that I have mentioned as pathways towards achieving the SDGs in alignment with national priorities, but also we have the Agenda 2063 of the African Union to, to which all of us subscribe. At the center of the four betters are the very producers and consumers within the agri food value chains, namely the farmers, the herders, the pastoralists, the fisher folk, the foresters, the rural people, both women, men, and the youth. When it comes to these important stakeholders, in the African context. The matter is not just whether they should not be left behind. Rather, the achievement of the goals itself will depend on whether they are fully engaged, enabled, capacitated, in order for them to produce more efficiently and on a sustainable basis for an inclusive and resilient agri-food systems. We can only achieve better production, better nutrition, a better environment and better life, leaving no one behind, when we work with farmers, support their efforts for them to fulfill their aspirations fully. PAFO with its extensive network, including women and youth is a leading voice in the rural development, in rural development, and we see PAFO as a key strategic partner in achieving our common agenda in Africa. As I have stated earlier, the signing of the MOU today is a renewal of our commitment to collaborate towards achieving our common goals, agri-food systems transformation. We have been working together. For example, FAO has been collaborating with PAFO 
as it undertakes its consultations in preparation for FAO Regional Conference with a view to articulation of their collective voices and facilitating informed dialogue with policymakers, the ministers. I'm glad to note that it has been a useful practice. This year as well, the 32nd FAO Regional Conference for Africa will take place from 11th to 14th of April in Malabo, Equatorial Guinea. We have been consulting with PAFO on how they conduct, they can conduct their consultation on the conference teams so that they can engage in dialogues during the conference. I want to use this opportunity to extend my invitation to the president PAFO, the second, 32nd FAO Regional Conference for Africa. You may have noted that the African Union Assembly of Heads of State and Government that was holding its regular session has just concluded. They ended it last uh, yesterday. During their session, it has been announced that the AU team of the year 2022 uh, has been selected to focus on uh, resilient nutrition, which all, we also understand includes food systems. Without food systems, there will be no nutrition. We can use this as an important platform, an opportunity to advance the agri-food systems transformation agenda in Africa, also building on the post UN Food System Summit follow-up actions. Once again, I want to thank PAFO through its president for the trust and confidence they have placed on FAO. I'm confident that we can use this MOU as a powerful instrument towards making the partnership and the collaboration between FAO and PAFO more impactful and truly transformational. I thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Abebe Hairu Gabriel, Assistant Director General of FAO, the Regional Representative for Africa of FAO, for his really powerful and enlightening, um, encouraging remarks, uh, highlighting this importance of strategic partnership between FAO and uh, uh, PAFO in agri food systems transformation in Africa. Now, I am uh, delighted to invite uh, Mr. Koliam Palembele, the President of Pan African Farmers Organization, PAFO, for his opening remarks. Where is yours, sir? Merci, uh, Madame la Moderatrice, uh, ou du moins, Monsieur le Moderateur, puisque moi j'entends, uh, j'écoute ici en français. Et donc, je uh, uh, suis très content de prendre part, de participer à cet événement important dans la vie d'un processus de collaboration avec un partenaire aussi important que la FAO. Et je suis vraiment très ravi. Euh, cher assistant, euh, directeur général, représentant régional pour l'Afrique, euh, monsieur Abebe Aile Gabriel, Mesdames et messieurs, chers participants à cet événement, Madame la secrétaire de la secrétaire de la PAFO, Madame Emerence, Madame Elisabeth Nsimala, présidente de l'IAF, permettez-moi avant tout propos de vous souhaiter une bonne et heureuse année et que cette année soit pour nous une année de prospérité, de paix, d'amour, de réussite dans nos, nos activités et surtout pour le partenariat qu'il y a entre la FAO et la PAFO. Chers membres de l'équipe de la FAO, chers collègues de la PAFO, Mesdames et Messieurs, je me réjouis de l'aboutissement de ce processus du premier son genre 
qui va se matérialiser tout à l'heure par la signature de l'accord de partenariat entre la FAO et la PAFO. Par cet accord, euh, l'Organisation des Nations Unies pour l'alimentation et l'agriculture réaffirme son soutien aux pays africains dans le renforcement des capacités des organisations paysannes dans le dialogue politique en vue de créer un environnement propice leur permettant de se former, se développer et se prospérer en apportant cet appui aux organisations paysannes d'Afrique. La FAO veut marquer sa volonté à rendre les organisations paysannes africaines forte et capable de rendre des services de qualité à leurs membres, y compris les femmes et les jeunes, en vue de contribuer à la sécurité alimentaire et à la nutrition, ainsi qu'au développement agricole et rural d'une manière générale. Mon nom, c'est Kolian Palébélé. Comme vous l'avez si bien prononcé, ça a été vraiment bien prononcé. <rire> je suis le président de l'Organisation panafricaine des agriculteurs, la PAFO, et je reste convaincu que le partenariat entre nos deux organisations apportera l'aide et le soutien nécessaire aux organisations paysannes à travers elles, aux petits exploitants agricoles et à faire progresser le développement agricole en Afrique. Permettez-moi de vous rappeler que l'Organisation panafricaine des agriculteurs, la PAFO, est une organisation continentale qui porte la voix des dizaines de millions d'agriculteurs africains intégrés dans près de 70 organisations nationales, unions, fédérations, coopératives, associations, etc. Elle est présente dans plus de 45 pays africains est fédérée en cinq réseaux régionaux opérant au cœur de l'agriculture africaine, dont la mission est de représenter les intérêts des paysans africains et de promouvoir le développement de l'agriculture africaine. La PAFO dispose d'une stratégie quinquennale 2021-2025 que je vous invite à consulter sur notre site web. Ce plan qui réaffirme que le fondement du travail des organisations paysannes est de promouvoir l'agriculture en tant qu'entreprise et pilier du développement économique, social et culturel en Afrique et qui se repose sur quatre piliers. Euh, le pilier 1 que je viens de citer à l'instant soit se concentre sur le renforcement de la PAFO en tant qu'organisation pour lui permettre d'exécuter le plan stratégique. Les piliers 2 et 3, c'est mettre l'accent sur le renforcement des paysans en tant qu'entrepreneurs. Et le pilier 4 se concentre sur l'influence des lois, politiques, programmes, mécanismes financiers, etc., au profit de l'agriculture en tant qu'entreprise en Afrique. Vous n'êtes pas sans savoir que les paysans sont des acteurs clés dans le processus du système alimentaire durable. Et nous ne pouvons parler du bien-être des personnes sans les paysans, car ce sont les principaux contributeurs à la lutte contre la faim et la pauvreté dans le monde. Aujourd'hui, nous signons pour la première fois un accord formel de partenariat et je suis très heureux de ce nouveau chapitre qui s'ouvre à nous grâce à la signature de ce protocole d'accord, bien que la coopération et la collaboration entre nos deux institutions remontent déjà au démarrage de la PAFO. La PAFO et ses réseaux membres espèrent que ce protocole d'accord engendrera un engagement politique plus proactif et à un plaidoyer pour faire entendre la voix des paysans vers des dialogues politiques de haut niveau et enfin pour faciliter l'échange des meilleures pratiques entre 
les organisations paysannes à l'intérieur et à l'extérieur du réseau, mais aussi, mais aussi à développer les capacités des organisations paysannes à soutenir et à fournir des services efficaces à leurs membres, y compris les agriculteurs, les agriculteurs familiaux, les femmes et les jeunes, ainsi que participer efficacement au dialogue politique de haut niveau en représentant les membres qui contribueraient à améliorer la productivité, les revenus et les moyens de subsistance des petits producteurs familiaux, des familles agriculteurs et à terme mettre fin à la faim et à la pauvreté sur le continent. Enfin, je réitère mes très sincères remerciements à la FAO pour son précieux soutien à la PAFO et ses réseaux membres et à travers eux, tous les paysans africains. Et nous espérons que ce partenariat fournira un cadre global pour renforcer la collaboration et l'engagement entre les deux institutions au niveau régional, sous-régional et national. Je vous remercie de votre aimable attention. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Korean Palembe, the president of PAFO, for your also uh, really powerful, encouraging remarks, highlighting again significance this partnership that FAO and PAFO working together for advancing food security and nutrition in a region for all their family farmers, small scale producers to um, attain its full potential in our region. Thank you. And uh, thank you, uh, Madam Elida Bess. Uh, we'd like to recognize the presence of President of Sakao, Dr. Sinane Yusuf. Uh, welcome, President, to join us this important uh, meeting. Thank you, President. So now um, we'd like to proceed. Um, we'd like to invite uh, a joint brief presentation, an overview of proposed collaboration. Now we'd like to uh, ask our colleague Momoka to present our four uh, slide PowerPoint. And uh, I'd like to first invite uh, my dear colleague, uh, Ms. Emirance Tusime, the uh, program officer and acting CEO of PAFO. Emirance, over to you. Thank you so much, Kaz. Allow me first to extend my appreciation to our principals today and to the colleagues who are with us from PAFO and from FAO. So our presentation is very brief, as already mentioned. So it is going to have two parts, whereby I will be presenting the first part on the global overview of uh, the partnership. And then the second part will be presented by my colleague, Kaz from FAO, on the areas of cooperation. So this is a memorandum of understanding that is being signed today between Pan-African Farmers Organization and the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations comes after a long process of exchange and a good collaboration already existing between both organizations since the creation of PAFO in 2010. Next slide, please. So this partnership covers the Sub-Saharan Africa, which comprises the four out of five regions of PAFO for a period of five years. It focuses on both organizations' joint goals and objectives to support African countries by strengthening capacities of farmers' organization in policy dialogues towards uh, the creation of enabling environment for them to form, develop, and strive to provide effective services to their members with a special attention to gender, I mean women and youth. Here, I think it is important to note that uh, uh, gender is one of uh, cross-cutting areas for the PAFO strategy for the year 2021 to 2025. So this is uh, the view to contribute to food security and nutrition, as well as agricultural and rural development. So this MOU also is annexed with uh, its work plan, providing the guidelines for the implementation towards the achievement of the set objective. So uh, with this, I would like to hand over once again to Kaz to proceed with the presentation on areas of cooperation. Kaz, you have the floor. Thank you. Thank you, Emirant. I will proceed. So we have two 
key areas of cooperation. The first is capacity development, increasing capacities of farmers' organization in the Africa region to support and provide effective services to their members, including family, farmers, women, and youth. Some of the activities proposed include events and exchange programs, such as alternate rural youth and women forums, and also capacity development training for members and secretariat of farmers' organization, including rural women and youth. Next slide, please. And the other area of cooperation is about policy dialogue, identifying ways to enhance the voice, representation, and participation of farmers' organizations as the key stakeholders in policy dialogue and policy consultation processes, including at appropriate venues provided by FAO, such as regional conference, as our Assistant Director General mentioned. And some of the activities we include policy dialogue consultation and awareness raising events but also activities through Yenkasa Africa Communication for development initiatives by utilizing community radios as an effective and innovative means to reach out rural uh, farmers. And so with this, um, we suggest to organize more in-depth uh, technical level meeting uh, following this uh, consultation, I mean, the, sorry, excuse me, this uh, virtual signing ceremony in due course to set up our annual plan for this year, but also the following coming years. I thank you for your kind attention. So now um, our brief presentation is over and we would like to have really this signing part of the ceremony part of our event. And here I would like to request all of you to open up your camera to witness this important moment but also for the sort of photo sessions uh, for the moment. And now I would like to invite our two principals, Mr. Bebe Haer Gabriel and Mr. Koryam Palembele for the actual signing of the Memorandum of Understanding, MOU. And uh, I would like to have your signature on MOU itself. And after completing your signing, MOU, we'd like to invite you to show us uh, this MOU part uh, on your side. And uh, we'd like to also invite all of us to the round of applause to recognize and witness this important moment. So Mr. Abebe and Mr. Korean, could you kindly show us the, the document you signed? Thank you very much. Now I'd like to invite a round of applause from the audience. Thank you very much. And we'd like to invite also a communication specialist, Mr. Samuel, for photo sessions. Samuel, it's going well. Have you, I hope you've captured this important moment. Okay, Samuel? Yes, I did. Good to go. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Abebe and Mr. Korean for this important moment and signature of the MOU. Thank you, Sarah. So now uh, we are really getting to the closing. Uh, finally, we would like to have really uh, closing words, a few words from both principles to give us some encouragement and aspirations for all of us. Now, once again, uh, allow me to invite uh, Mr. Abebe Haile Gabriel, Assistant Director General F and Regional Representative for FAO, of FAO for his closing words. Mr. Bebe, over to you, sir. Thank you, uh, Kaz, um, for the opportunity again. Uh, let me say uh, once again, uh, congratulations to both uh, PAFO and uh, FAO for having signed this MOU. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a very important moment. I'm very happy. I feel very much excited. Um, of course, this paves the way for a deeper engagement between the two organizations, as we have said, there are clear opportunities uh, for us to capture, uh, to seize. Uh, I want to thank uh, our colleagues, both from PAFO, uh, Emirates, uh, led by Emirates from the PAFO side, uh, but also from FAO led by CAS for uh, your support. But this is only the beginning. The, the most important um, 
thing is going to come after this. Uh, so I very much uh, look forward to much more uh, deeper engagement. Uh, Mr. Palebele, um, once again, congr congratulations. I look forward to having, um, you know, focused, uh, structured uh, dialogue with PAFO uh, as we prepare towards the regional conference, uh, but also beyond. So thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much, Mr. Bebe, for closing words. So now I'd like to invite Mr. Koryam Palembe for his closing words. Over to you, Mr. Koryam. Merci beaucoup, uh, uh, Monsieur le Moderateur. Uh, je suis uh, sincèrement, je suis très, très, très satisfait pour cet accord de collaboration entre la FAO et la PAFO. Parce que uh, lorsqu'on crée la PAFO à l'île Moué, on pensait que uh, uh, des moments comme celui d'aujourd'hui devait arriver effectivement. Parce qu'il est question que tous les acteurs se mettent ensemble pour travailler. Et je pense que cet accord montre l'exemple et la voix aux autres et aussi. Parce que c'est un événement très important. J'espère que les autres, ça sera un grand exemple également pour les autres partenaires au niveau euh, international, au niveau africain. Je suis vraiment satisfait. J'espère que cet accord nous permettra donc d'atteindre nos objectifs, de contribuer à l'atteinte de nos objectifs, surtout euh, d'aider les petits producteurs à, 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 à résoudre les problèmes auxquels ils font face, problèmes de famine, problèmes de sécurité alimentaire d'une manière générale, le problème de pauvreté, le problème même de création d'emplois pour les jeunes. Je pense que à travers ce protocole d'accord, nous allons donc faire bouger les lignes. Et nous sommes confiants. Et nous savons que la FAO est un partenaire, euh, disons traditionnel, un partenaire de longue date. Et la FAO pour nous n'est pas seulement un partenaire, c'est un acteur incontournable dans un processus de développement dans nos pays africains. Et nous sommes confiants et ravis donc de cette, de cette signature. Et remercions tous ceux qui ont pris part à cet événement et même tous ceux qui ne sont pas là parce que eh, nous savons que nos membres sont avec nous ils suivent de près euh, cet accord. Même s'ils ne sont pas là, ils suivent tous cet accord parce qu'ils savent que cet accord doit être signé aujourd'hui. Donc, euh, euh, monsieur le représentant du directeur général, nous vous remercions beaucoup et remercions vos, votre équipe et remercions également l'équipe de la PAFO. Nous remercions et les présidents et les représentants des réseaux des organisations de l'Afrique. De, de l'Afrique. Voilà, merci beaucoup pour cette merci pour cette occasion. Thank you very much, Mr. Koryam, for your closing words as well. And uh, we also echo thanking Mr. Abebe and Mr. Koryam and uh, um, Madame Elizabeth Dr. Sinare, uh, Mr. Drem Tasing Tokui from Propac, Benito Emirates, and I'm afraid I cannot name all, but for the participation uh, for this important signing ceremony. With this, uh, we'd like to close this virtual signing ceremony. I thank you once again for your kind participation and wishing you uh, the good, uh, good afternoon. Thank you, sir, and thank you, madam. Thank you very much, uh, Fuji. Thank you very much, Kaz. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Kaz, and to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Yeah,